Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Arrow working in Windows 7. So, um, I'm going to have in the description a post here with the whole zip here. You can download this and follow the tutorial yourself or listen to me uh, teach you how to set this up. So I have made this fully fledged for everyone to work with. So, yeah. This is a big file, but it's uh, it's probably gonna take just a bit, depending on where you live and what you, what you have. But this will include everything you need to install Windows 7 and get everything running. Okay, so after you download it, you're going to want to um, open up VMware. Actually, first off, open up your Explorer and unzip it. After it um, exports, you want to open it up and go to the README file if you are currently installing this all by yourself. You can look through this, but I'm here to um, show you how to install. So in here, there are your ISOs to set up. If you already have it set up, skip to another portion of this video, it will be shown on screen now. So you're going to want to open up VMware, and then you're going to want to create a new machine. And from here, you're going to want to select inside Ultimate. You can choose Professional. I have tested everything, and this time what I have done is all going to work with every single version, and there should be no issues. You want to select Ultimate and then just put whatever you're going to be doing. I'm just going to put my name. And then you're just going to continue through the setup. Um, most importantly here, make sure to customize your hardware. Um, a recommended, you can do 2 gigabytes, but Arrow will not be as nice. Recommended, you do 4 gigabytes. And if you uh, can do any uh, more stuff to your processor, give it to uh, like a second extra core. It just helps it run smoother if you're to be using for anything else other than just to look at it. <laughs> then close that, click finish, and it should just power on. Okay, so now we're in Windows. You just wanna, all you wanna do is um, go, to, like basically go to the top here, click Manage, click Virtual Machine Settings, then go over here and select um, the ISO from here. It's called Arrow.ISO. Then click OK. And you click back into Windows, and it'll show you this. Click OK. 
and then select web browser. You can choose either between Chrome or Firefox. I'm gonna go Firefox. There are two installations for Firefox. It's either uh, just an EXE or an MSI. It doesn't matter which whenever you choose. Don't get scared if it takes long. Um, these these kind of installations are older, and um, we're using the version of Windows that's older, so it might have a little bit of trouble. But just just work with it. So after installing it, you want to open the browser, and then click Windows E again on your keyboard. Go to um, the ISO, which is on the computer. You click the DVD drive, which is what it's called. Then you're gonna want to like just copy this into over here. Scroll down um, until you find Install Legacy Update. Click that. After installing it, you want to go ahead and open it and let it run. Basically, all this is gonna do is it's just gonna give us like what we're mostly needing here is the root certificates. So and also, this could be goodies if you want to get Windows Update working again. It should restart your computer, and once after it restarts, um, you're going to want to go ahead and select another ISO that's on the file called the VMware Tools. Okay, then log in to your account. The next step is to... You can ignore this if you did leave the stuff in. So the next step is to go ahead and open back this up and select the third ISO, which is... Um, inside the arrow, VMware Tools, and then this. Click OK. In a second, I should show you this. Click Open Folder View Files. And here, select VMware Tools Windows 11, which I don't have a clue why it says that. Then select Setup 64, and I'll let it run. So, depending on whichever one you do, you just choose whatever. I'm just going to go with a typical installation for this tutorial. Okay, and then after it finishes, just click finish and let it and click restart. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to want to right-click the desktop, select Personalize, and then select Windows 7. There you go. Here's um, a tutorial to bring back Windows Air out and to get working on Windows 7 on VMware. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Any questions you have? Please um, ask below in the comments if you are to correct this into the future. Um, you can go ahead and type that into the comments. I will pin it in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.